I'm saving thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. <laughs> you know what? I want to keep that middle. I want to just keep the middle. Because, I mean, yes, it'll it'll cost us some, some money, but seriously, it looks good. So I'm going to keep it. But all of that, change out. Um, all this, change that out. Can't afford anything, though. Okay, where does this go here? This other path just stops there, okay. Th am I replaced? Is this replaced? It doesn't look like it, but I guess it is. Okay, so from replacing the paths alone... That saved me quite a bit of money. Quite a bit. Uh, are these all powered? These are all powered. So it means that people can actually come and visit the park. These aren't powered. That's okay. Um, but these are all powered. People can actually come and visit the park. I don't know why they'd want to. There's no dinosaurs to see, but... They can come here. I can adjust these. To actually give me money. Dino Slop. That's what the bar sells. Dino Slop. Let's sell Dino Brew. Um, and let's sell it for... Uh, man, I'm making zero dollars here. Let's make like even one dollar on it, you know? If it, if it gets people in and buying, whatever. It's good. Right now it's good. It's great. Uh, amenities. The Fossil Zone. I don't know what amenities... Oh, oh! <laughs> amenities. Ammonites! <laughs> the Nautilus! Yes. Okay. Amenities. I like the tooth. The tooth idea, it's expensive, but you know what? When I went to the Royal Terrell Museum, when I was a kid, I bought a tooth. And so, you know what? We're going to give the kids here the same opportunity. Uh, let's see. Dino Bites, $4. That's good. Okay. Uh, dino Stickers. Let's sell a Dino Plushie and let's sell it for 8 Clothes Shop. That's good. Dino Hat, yeah. It's fine. Snackosaurus. Jurassic Nom. I think I like the Jurassic Nom. I'm going to sell it for 12 bucks. Arcade. Retro gaming, yeah. Let's do... Let's do current gen games. We'll sell it for eight. And finally, gift shop. Let's look at this. Lunchbox. Yeah, good. All right. So those are all appropriate now. We're still losing a ton of money. Which makes me feel like there must be now something else. Oh, this here. This even tells us what it is. Oh, it just says Jurassic World. Um, there must be another thing here that we can sell. And I don't... I, I can sell... I can sell these these buildings here. And if I sell even one, I would get a ton of money for it. About a hundred thousand each. There's eight of them. That would clear out my my expenses here. Oh boy. Oh boy. So after all that, what does this give me? A million bucks? For a what? Innovation center? Look, personally, I don't care how many buildings we have. But I learned a long time ago that less is never more. Huh? More is more. So make more, okay? Uh, there are three blah, blah, blah. Visitor centers give you revenue based on your reputation with the division. You can build multiple visitor centers of the same type to receive even more revenue. Well, I don't need that. And there is where our money is coming in, my friends. So, let's demolish that. We're actually plus now. I'm going to have to demolish something else. I know it already. 
I just know it because I want to make a, let's put the gate here. Hello. Gate doesn't snap to anything. Let's put the uh, fence down then. This is going to be a heavy electrified steel fence. It's got to protect us from the, the wrecks, right? This is eating up a load of my revenue. Uh, hello? Is it, do I have to have the replace thing on? Is it on? Okay. There. Yes, okay. So the existing fences I had to replace too. My budget, I'm at 42,000. I don't know if I can actually make it now. Too expensive, yeah, okay. So, unfortunately, it looks like I do actually have to demolish some of this stuff. So, large substation, gonna get rid of, and I'm gonna build in the, uh, small substation. Should cover All of them, if it sits right here. It's raining. There we go. So that saved a little bit of money there. Just a tiny bit of money. Um, but I'm going to have to get rid of some of these things. So I want to get rid of the, the gift shop. Um... And the restaurant, I think, too. All right. Man, I'm going to ultimately have to get rid of all of them. I already know that. I know. I'm just it's de 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 delaying the inevitable. Okay. So I've got myself this giant uh, enclosure now. It is a pretty big enclosure. I'm going to go ahead and put in... Whoop, nope, not substation. Pylons, because I think that substation should be good enough. Actually, you know what? It might be cheaper, rather than running all that cable, to do this. Small power station. You need 500,000. What? Just came our way. Don't let it sit too long. Get the storm defense station coverage on this island to 60%. Yeah, okay. Storms, they're the first sign. An omen, if you believe in that sort of thing, which I don't, except when I do. <laughs> yeah. I understand completely. Oh, come on. All right. <laughs> so that was cheaper than, <clears throat> excuse me, $500, $500,000. We got ourselves a small enclosure here. Now, we're going to have to work our way up, I'm pretty sure, to the... Uh, Let's modify. Can I modify this guy below eighty thousand? I don't. I don't think so. No, he's at his limit at five hundred and fifty thousand. So Gallimimus, my my little friend, please, please. <laughs> we got ourselves a little Gallimimus is gonna run around here for now, um, under high security, and hopefully bring in enough customers with with these types of things that we will generate some revenue with their revenue pull in um, enough to build more. It's going to be crazy here, though, to build that that much more. You can get rid of that. Save a little bit of money there. And there. Oops. Well, you know what? I just demolished this road, and I'm, I'm committed to it now. Doing it. Okay, 65,000. I can actually release another one, uh, hatch another one, and I think that I should. 
Let's go ahead and do that quick and release this guy. The savior of Tecano. Our little Gallimimus. Looks like he's actually, um... He's got a cool coloration on him. I don't know if he's been genetically modified to have that. I might have been able to save some money, actually, but that's fine. We got ourselves a new creature, and what is this telling me? What is this telling me? What does this icon mean? Everything looks sort of okay. What does this icon mean? I don't... I don't see anything wrong here. Uh... I don't see anything that should be wrong. No gate on this fence? Is that the problem? Like, I don't... I don't get it. Can I put in a gate? Too expensive. I don't know. I don't... But anyway, I have people in. By the way. That ended up working out pretty good. And hopefully, with all these new people walking around because of the one little Gallimimus, or Struthiomimus, um, hopefully they're buying stuff. I want them to buy things and enjoy the things. And I can actually now tweak these. I can see the max income I can get is by selling it for that. So now that there's actually people here, I can modify these to make the most profit, which is exactly what I want. $728 seems like the most there. People are gonna be kind of annoyed, but... All right, so the most profit comes from, looks like $310. Goody, goody, goody. I don't find that, and I, I could be wrong, but in Jurassic Park Operation Genesis, people got really annoyed if you jacked the prices like this. Like, they really got annoyed. Uh, and it doesn't seem like that's kind of the case in this game. I, I've never... I mean, when you get income, that's income. That's not... You know, who cares if only three guests are getting it? If three guests get it for that much, you're making good profit here. Whereas uh, it seems like before in Jurassic Park Operation Genesis, if you jack the prices, people would actually downright just leave the park uh, unhappy about your prices. So it looks like that is the best right there. There we go. None of these have like more than one employee, do they? No. No, they're all good. They're, they're good. All right. So now that should be generating a little bit of income. I'm up to forty-four thousand uh, dollars. I think that is climbing. Yes, it is. Good by two thousand. It already climbed. So I'm gonna end this episode here, guys, where we are now on a new island and moving, moving towards getting a profit good enough to hopefully with time. Oh, this one failed, did it? Waste of money. But let's get another one in there. Easy way to earn profit is just by having as many dinosaurs as you can, so I'm going to get that in there and uh, hopefully be able to scrape by, scrape by enough to uh, to get what I need because now, now I'll need a fossil place, I need the expedition place, I need the security, I mean, it's ACU, everything, I need it all. And it all costs a lot of money. So, <laughs> talk about a challenge. Talk about a challenge. But we're we're willing to to fight for it. So let's let's do that. We'll do that next time. Bye bye. <laughs> Here he is. Well, what, let's watch one more before I leave. There you go. Enjoy it, guys. We'll see you next time in Jurassic World. Bye bye. 